Hello, I'm Sophie and I work for Changes Bristol on the Walk and Talk service. We hold two walks a week on a Wednesday and they both run for about an hour. Um, we started doing this service as a response to the COVID-19 pandemic um, as we felt like a lot of people were isolated indoors um, and even though some groups were still continuing online, we thought it would be a really nice alternative to be able to get people outside again and to be connected with the outdoors. So Walk and Talk started when members of our charity came to us um, with ideas um, because of the problems that we're having through lockdown um, and the pandemic and they were feeling socially excluded um, and uh, digitally excluded as well and finding it difficult to get support. So we set up Walk and Talk where we can take advantage of um, the health of nature and exercise and having a place where you can talk about your issues. The way it runs is that we, we choose different locations across the city um, and we try and pick green areas where there aren't too many roads. Um, with lots of lovely things to look at, so ponds, trees. Um, we went to a farm recently, so there were lots of animals, which was really nice. Um, and we do like a circular walk for the, for the first um, hour, and then we repeat it in the afternoon. So there's two opportunities to join in. Um, and it's just a really nice thing to engage with because our members seem to be able to open up quite naturally outside. Um, outside of a, an indoor group environment um, and I think that's because there's a lot of things to kind of ground yourself with when you're outside so there's things to look at things to distract yourself with um, and it just feels like the most natural way to meet people face to face and I think a lot of us have kind of lost practice of that so it's been really nice to be able to engage with people face to face again our members at Changes have benefited from the Walk and Talk service in many ways. Um, firstly, it gives them a weekly routine, which we know is really good for mental health, um, but it also allows them to stay to still be spontaneous as the locations change on a weekly basis. Um, they've commented that they really enjoy seeing new places in the community and it's allowed their world to open up. Um, because some of the members haven't been to some of the locations before, so it's new and exciting. Hello, I'm Lindsay. I'm a member of the um, Changes, the walking group I go to um, every week. I love it. It gets me out. It helps me meet new people. gives me confidence. And the people here are really friendly. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, love it. Although the walks are very slow and relaxed and mindful, um, it also improves physical health because you're still active um, and that that also members have also commented saying at the end of the walk that they feel kind of like energized at the end which is which is great some even going on to doing more walking when the walks are over um, and some of our members have also commented that they find that there are barriers in joining the changes peer support groups indoors um, because of the indoor environment and so we think it's been a really good stepping stone um, for anyone who hasn't accessed the Changes Peer Support Groups before to allow them to be able to move on to that um, once they become more confident being face-to-face uh, -face again after the pandemic. Changes Bristol's Walk and Talk is a weekly event, no referral is necessary and is free to attend. So why don't you come along?